Is this upcoming season a make it or break it year for head coach Matt Eberflus? Let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NFL. And here to talk about head coach Matt Eberflus because we have not talked about him enough. But before I get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate that a lot. It helps the channel a lot when you subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, people, you know, I was thinking, we've talked about a lot of things this offseason. A lot of things. But we have not focused a lot on the head coach in Matt Eberflus. And that is because early on in the offseason, when we found out that Matt Eberflus was going to be retained, we talked about it then, and then that was the end of that. And then obviously we know what happened after that. We had the draft. Caleb Williams gets drafted. Roma Dunze and the spotlight is on these shiny new rookies. And that's what we're focused on. And the offense and free agency happens. We acquire all of these free agents. And that's pretty much been kind of the focus. Well, I want to turn it back over to the head coach. All right. And here's why. This upcoming season is Caleb Williams' rookie year, but it might as well be Matt Eberflus's final year. All right, what I mean by that is Caleb, while he is going to have pressure to come in here and perform and have high expectations set on him as the number one overall pick, nobody expects him to not go through some rookie struggles in his first year, right? In the NFL, like you got to give him that at least. But now with Matt Eberflus, all right, and this was the problem with keeping him, all right? Not saying it was the wrong decision, but this is the issue, is Matt Eberflus is going into year three. All right, going into year three, first year with the Bears, three and 14, next year with the Bears, seven and 10. For a grand total of a 10 and 24 record with the Chicago Bears, which is one of the worst, if not the worst record for a Bears head coach. And so what needs to happen this upcoming season for Matt Eberflus? Is he going to be on the hot seat? Is there nothing that can happen for him to get fired? Is there pressure on him? And I believe there is immense pressure on him. When Ryan Poles decided to hitch his wagon one more time to Matt Eberflus, he basically told everybody that this is his guy and he is going to prove people wrong. And so I'm here to tell you that Matt Eberflus this season has to, has to perform. I'm talking the team needs to at least, bare minimum, win two more games. You finished seven and ten last year, and with a much improved roster, you need to go ahead and win at least nine games. If they don't make the playoffs, is that a disappointment? Probably. Probably. But if they're right there, you know, on the border and they don't end up getting in, it's not the end of the world. But I think the expectations are playoffs. And the expectation is really progress. And so you can't go into next season if you're Matt Eberflus and have any regression. The defense cannot regress because that's your calling card. You're the your defensive head coach. And the team win total can't regress. You certainly can't go backwards or win seven games again because I think that calls for a firing. And here is the big problem with the firing. And I hate this and I wish, or I hope, I should say, that this never happens, which is if the Bears underperform and Matt Eberflus' performance is under question, rightfully so, because he's a big part of it, and he ends up getting fired, then the whole coaching staff probably gets cleaned out, right? Along with the offensive coordinator, Shane Waldron, and the rest of the coaches. And you're going to bring in a new coaching staff, and it's just that I don't want to repeat that cycle that we did with Justin Fields for Caleb Williams. I want stability in here. 
Now, full disclosure, full disclosure, I would have fired Matt Eberflus after this past season. Not because I don't think he's a good head coach. He did have the defense playing really well. It's just that he's not my cup of tea. I feel like in today's NFL, I want an offensive head coach for my rookie quarterback and a guy that I feel like I can develop or can develop him, my, my quarterback. And also, I'm not worried about, you know, him leaving because he's not a coordinator, right? He's the head coach. And so it's the Sean McVay thing, right? Sean McVay, his coordinators get picked up every single season, but the Rams never have to worry because Sean McVay doesn't leave. He's the head coach. And so that's why I wanted an offensive head coach. So full disclosure, I did not want Matty Flus to stay. It's not that I don't like him. It's just for those reasons as mentioned. So to me, is this a make it or break it season for Matt Eberflus? The answer I think is yes. And the reason why is because the expectations for the team are high. The roster is really good. See, past seasons, the past two seasons, you can give Matt Eberflus a little bit of a break here because the roster wasn't good, right? We were rebuilding. And it's kind of the same situation with Justin Fields, right? We didn't surround Fields with a lot. We didn't give Matt Eberflus a lot. So he does get that. You know, as kind of an excuse, but now it's the time to put up or shut up, right? He needs to go ahead and have this team performing well, especially the defense. Obviously, if the offense struggles, that's more on Shane Waldron. But the overall win total, that is what is going to matter at the end of the day. So I believe it's a make it or break it season. If the Bears don't win by at least two games, if they don't show incremental progress, if the defense can, doesn't continue to take a step forward, I seriously think Matt Eberflus' job could be on the line this season. And I, and I want that to not be the case. Trust me, I don't want that to be the case. I'm just telling you what I realistically think happens. Under those scenarios, I think he would get canned. But my expectation, and this is what I believe happens, is that the Bears win at least nine games. I, I believe the Bears will sneak into the playoffs as a wild card. And I believe the defense will play pretty well. And I do believe that Matt Eberflus will stay. So that's where I am at. But, man, there's a lot of pressure on Matt Eberflus to perform this season. So let's hope he does. Let me know what you guys think. Matt Eberflus, is it a make it or break it season for him? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. 